Reverend Jake Zabe, and welcome to Children's Bible Stories. Hello children and welcome back to Children's Bible Stories. I'm your host Reverend Jake Zabel. Today we're going to be doing the story of Joseph interpreting dreams. So, after Joseph had been sold into slavery, he had worked in the house of Potiphar before Potiphar's wife had accused Joseph of trying to seduce her, and so Joseph was thrown into prison. While Joseph was there in prison, he met two other prisoners, a man who had formerly been Pharaoh's cupbearer and a man who had formerly been Pharaoh's baker. And each of them had a dream and they told it to Joseph. And so the cupbearer he had a dream that there was this grapevine with three branches on it and that it had on it bunches of ripe grapes and that he took the grapes and he squeezed them into wine and put them in Pharaoh's cup. The baker had a dream that he was carrying on his head three baskets of bread and that the birds came and ate all the bread out of the baskets. And so Joseph told them what these dreams meant. To the cupbearer he said, what this means is that in three days' time, the Pharaoh is going to forgive you and going to make you his cupbearer again, and you'll serve him drinks again. So the cupbearer was very happy. As for the baker, Joseph said, This means that in three days' time, Pharaoh is going to take you and he's going to kill you, and your body's going to be eaten up by the birds. And so the baker was pretty sad. And it came to happen just as Joseph had said. The baker was put to death. But... But for the cupbearer, he was taken and he was reinstated as the cupbearer for Pharaoh. Now Joseph had asked the cupbearer to do Joseph one thing, and that was to remember him when he went and worked for Pharaoh and see if he could get Joseph out of prison. And the cupbearer promised that he would, but when he got back to the palace and started working for Pharaoh again, he forgot all about Joseph. Oh no. So Joseph had to stay in prison for a little longer. Now as for Pharaoh, he started having his own dreams. Now Pharaoh began to have his own dreams. And one of the dreams he had is that he was standing by the Nile River. And there was seven big fat healthy cows standing there by the Nile. Eating their grass, mm, 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 mooing, mm, and just having a good time being happy. And then, out of the water came seven really skinny, ugly cows. And those seven cows came out and they started to eat the fat cows. And so the seven skinny cows came and they ate up the seven fat cows. Then Pharaoh had another dream where he saw seven good heads of corn growing on their corn stalks. And then along came seven skinny thin corn heads and they ate up the good corn heads. Now Pharaoh was very worried by these dreams and so he called all his magicians and his wise men and his sorcerers to come and tell him what the dream meant but none of them could actually tell him what the dream meant. And then the cupbearer he remembered Joseph and he came and he told Pharaoh about how he had been in prison and how Joseph had told him what his dream meant and how it had come true. And so the Pharaoh said, then bring Joseph to me and let him tell me what the dream meant. So Joseph came and he interpreted Pharaoh's dream for him. He said the seven fat cows and the seven good ears of corn that referred to seven years of bounty and plenty when Egypt would have plenty to eat. As for the seven skinny cows and the seven bad ears of corn, these referred to seven years of drought and famine, when everyone would be hungry and starving and there'd be nothing to eat. He then added that since God had sent Pharaoh this dream twice, therefore God had established that this definitely would come true. And then Pharaoh said, What is it that we should do? And Joseph told him, What we should do? is that during the seven years of plenty, we should build big 
barns and silos and we should gather into them as much grain and food as we can so that when the seven years of drought come we will be able to have enough to eat and so that's exactly what pharaoh did he listened to joseph and during the seven years of plenty they built big barns and silos and stored up heaps and heaps of wheat so that when the seven years of drought came they'd have plenty to eat and because of Joseph's wisdom regarding what they were to do, he was appointed the new Prime Minister of Egypt, second only to the Pharaoh. And that's our story for today, children. I've been your host, Reverend Jake Zabel. Goodbye and God bless.